what are you trying to accomplish? What, what would you like to see in the end game for you? Mm, that's basically. Um, I mean, ultimately, it's to bring awareness and make people, you know, realize what's really going on in this country. There are a lot of things that are going on that are unjust, people aren't being held accountable for, and that's something that needs to change. That's something that, you know, this country stands for freedom, liberty, justice for all, and it's not happening for all right now. Is this something that's evolved as a philosophy in your mind, and how has this kind of progressed that you make a stand like this? It's something that I've seen, I've felt, um, wasn't quite sure how to deal with uh, originally. And it is something that's evolved. It's something as I've gained more knowledge about you know, what's going on in this country in the past, what's going on currently. Uh, these aren't new situations. This isn't new ground. It's things that have gone on in this country for years and years and have never been addressed, and they need to be. Will you, yeah, will you continue, Colin, to sit? Will you continue to sit? Yes, I, I'll continue to sit. I'm going to continue to stand with the people that are being oppressed. Uh, to me, this is something that has to change. And when there's significant change, and I feel like that flag represents what it's supposed to represent, and this country is representing people the way that it's supposed to, I'll stand. Specifically, what would you like to see change in order for you to stand? There's a lot of things that need to change. Uh, one, one specifically is police brutality. There's people being murdered unjustly and not being held accountable. Cops are getting paid leave for killing people. That's not right. That's not right by anyone's standards. Hey, one goal, one thing, one move, and that shit don't change. It's real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do. There's only one goal, one thing, one rule, man, that shit don't change In the same, real niggas do real fucking things, real niggas do real fucking things mm -hmm. I fuck, tell me pay the fool, man If I can see me, boy, get shot, uh, my cop fight for, um What's that nigga name in that, in that movie, man? Uh, it, was, uh, it was hurtful, dog. No lie about that shit. That shit was the most hurtful thing since, uh, I don't know. I liked the belly. Belly, everybody ended up pretty good. Except for the Jamaican nigga. I, I really didn't want him to go out like that. I didn't want him to go out like that, neither. But he did what he did in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And that's what cost him his life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Ch Chiquita had to come lay that boy down. And if I'm any, I, I was glad she did have to do it out of anybody else. Because he murdered everybody else. Okay. I watched that movie Shotters, man. I only watched it once in my whole life, dog. And the thing is, I couldn't get into it because I just couldn't understand it. We got subs. Didn't you put me on that movie, D? Probably. I feel like you showed me that movie back in the day, Shotters. Yeah, I ain't. Yeah. I, that was at the time, I guess, I didn't watch it on subs. I watched that the straight. And I was in that bit like, dog, what are y'all saying? It's a lot of gangster shit happening, but what are y'all even saying? It's a gangster ass movie. Yeah, I like that movie. And since I seen Belly first, the nigga that was in Belly was such a gangster. And shot us, he was kind of a bitch nigga. And I was like, no, not my son. Who was a bitch nigga and shot us? The nigga that was the main Jama the make Jamaican nigga and Belly. Oh, Louis, Louis Rankin? That's his name? Yeah, he's fucking famous. That's gangster Jamaican to me. I sound just exhausted. Mm -hmm. Exhausted. Exhausted Mundo. Gotta wake up though. Niggas be, uh, niggas be sweating and dripping, dog. I've been watching y'all niggas get stronger every time. Picking up different weights and shit. I'll be like, look at these niggas grinding and getting. That's the plan. That's what you're supposed to do. you damn right. The bitch is the fact that it's a, it's a, a marathon. Yeah. That don't end. Nope. So it's like... Like every day is is an everyday thing. Not every day, but you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a daily freaking grind. Like, you know what I mean? It's just... Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, dog! I just start catching up with you. No yeah. breaks or nothing. Like I said, I, shit, I might, I might take a break tomorrow. Man, but, I'm at the point where like, um, just cause my back hurt. I'm, you gotta take them breaks. I mean, my fucking back was hurting cause I was trying to do them weighted sit-ups. One day we went to the gym. Them bitches were hurting my back like a motherfucker. I said, uh-uh, nope. <laughs> Overtrained. I need to take a day. 
I think that's what's happening. I think I need to, uh, Jay, Jay, keep on pushing. Nigga, you need to take the, you know, the Epsom salt bath. I think I need yeah, to do that. Yeah, that's perfect, man. Yeah, yeah man. You gotta take, take care of that shit. Well, the Epsom salt bath gonna make your skin feel good, too. I mean, I know what it is, dog. Just, you know, just doing it. <laughs> it's always. It's gonna take that Epsom salt bath. I'm like bad, doing all that. It's niggas, just, oh, niggas, niggas especially the niggas that's us is on the go. A shower is always, you know, great. But a nice, just, just that's the moment you need to just set some candles for yourself. Well, I gotta do all that if I'm just soaking. Enjoy the moment, you know what I'm saying? You never, you never set that set candles and music and head is smelling good. I'm just saying, like, I mean, candles is cool. I ain't really, you say so. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe my scene a little too dramatic. Yeah, that's your dramatic ass vibe. All I need is, you, you know, know what I'm saying? I, I, ain't, my, I ain't, honestly, I never did it, but I always wanted to. This motherfucker here, yeah, he pushes some shit he ain't ever did. I'm trying to live through you, <laughs> you nigga. You gotta do the candles, nigga. What you mean you ain't doing the candles? You ain't think about the candles, nigga? You gotta do the candles. That's my vibe if I was ever do it. <laughs> never, I would ever do it. <laughs> Nigga, wait till I get the opportunity, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. It's not like he been dreaming about that moment. I can't what? wait till I get the fucking time to do that. Nigga, what? Just Bubble like, bath just... and candles. What? Yeah, it had, it had some, time. some smooth blunt with it, like some music on, some probably some Bubble baths and back rubs. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me, baby. Son, are they really fighting at this fucking Popeyes? Which ones? These yeah, sound I got like two of them. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh-uh, this is out of here. But I think... Oh, my fucking chicken! But I think that... Video was actually a fight about something else that just went re-viral because of everything. There is oh, one. Man. There just, is one where uh, allegedly it was over some dealing with the chicken not being there that I shared. But I think that one is just another one it was I just found. Just a fight in Popeyes. Yeah, right? I think that's just a fight in Popeyes. But since you know Popeyes got the mania, the madness happening right now. I want my chicken. It, my all all, all Popeye-related things is just re-going viral and shit. Right. right. Cool. <laughs> but it's just trippy that they've had that many fights in Popeyes. <laughs> nice surprise. Popeyes, it, it goes down to the Popeyes, hey, you hear yeah. me? Bella Noche. You can't <laughs> but, go to Popeyes, what the hell can you go? Man, I guess not, son. That shit trippy. Popeyes fights, though. Ain't... Honestly, I guess churches and Popeyes, you tell me how to fight any one of those, except for on Sunday at churches, because I know the old ladies go there. I'm not surprised. I mean, this whole Popeyes thing is just is just ridiculous, man. We got some of that um inside, I mean, in the, in the starter section about the monetary of it. But it's just wild how, like, when it hit New Orleans, it are really like it hit like a bomb before it even went viral, like a month or so ago. Like everybody was like, "You yeah. got the chicken sandwich?" Did it, like everybody in the city was buzzing about the chicken sandwich. Yeah. And then it's just like this past week. It just went viral just everywhere exploded. else. Yeah. But like, if for people listening, if you ain't from New Orleans, no. All that madness going everywhere else was happening in this city for a good month and a half. Let me yeah. tell you what a happened. good month and a half before all this. Now, like the damn lines are everywhere. They running out of chicken everywhere. It's like a whole fucking thing. That Let shit me don't tell make you no something sense. Though. New Orleans finally gave all the other Popeyes the recipe. Ah, uh, people still saying I was better. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's always going to be better. I think ours was I was always going to be better, supreme. though. Yeah. Just, as far as that chicken sandwich, they, they put out that a good extra, chicken uh, sandwich. They gave me that 12th herb. But I'm, I still believe that I still believe that our chicken sandwich probably still tastes better than whatever chicken sandwiches those were, though. I think so too. That bit stupid. They talking about the game of the twelfth herb. Yeah, <laughs> you so dumb. I you know New Orleans yeah. Popeyes just gonna be New Orleans Popeyes, dog. Yeah, that's, that's just. What if it anything, is. dog, they only had the ten, and they finally gave them the eleven, and we've been See, sitting son. on the twelve right. already. I, yeah, yeah, we're probably bitch. sitting on the. We sitting on the twelve. Yeah. We finally, we finally gave them a, a whiff of the eleven that be getting advertised. Yeah, listen, it's yeah. the eleven. The, uh, the dark and spicy. You know what I mean? They've been you know, lying. Your They've been lying about having 11 herbs and spices yeah. nigga, until now. That shit ain't no motherfucking Zatarain. Until now. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, dog. Uh, nothing beats whatever's homegrown from. Like, like we have beignets here. I'm pretty sure you go to France, the fucking beignets are 10 times popping. You got pizza here. I'm pretty sure fucking Italy, the pizza 10 times popping. I know the spaghetti is. Well, I mean, everything over overseas is just better from what I gather. I mean, I mean like, but I'm just saying homegrown shit. If it's homegrown, it's always going to top no matter where it's up. It's, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Except yeah. French fries. McDonald's got that on lock. No, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying French fries ain't really uh, from France in the, in the manner that we think. So even yeah. though it's called French fries, it, they fries ain't. So wait, what, like potato chips are from like France for real. I right? think I went, but it's like there's like a story behind that. Yeah, like, there's a whole story about the potato like too, too thin. thin or something like that. That bitch came with potato chip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, but that's not necessarily French shit. But it, but it's just a trip about the Popeyes thing, dog. And like, wait a minute, uh, French fries ain't from France. There's a this. It's like a slang as to why. So I know it's hamburgers French ain't fries. from fucking uh from from pigs. Number one, and uh, wait, who thought what? hamburgers were from pigs? Because they have ham in it. 
The no. Word. So people, some people think I was from pigs. No, I ain't never no. heard that before. No. <laughs> a hamburger from a pig. We nigga. not about to do that. Yeah, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> we not about to do that. Some niggas didn't know the clip when they came from the cow. So when they did, you, you mean your niggas? I have never. I, 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 I said some niggas. I'm not gonna put out if they mind or not. It was your niggas. I don't know. I said it was me. You had somebody to hang with a special crew, dog. That was me, dog. I got a lot of I was like, I was like, I know the steak come from cow. I know this and that, but it says hamburger. Nah. And I was like. So it gotta be made out of some kind of pork because there's ham in it. Uh-uh. No, I give the rib just because there's cow ribs and there's pork ribs. So you know, there's, there's, beef, there's beef ribs there's and beef there's and pork ribs. I only go on pork ribs my whole life. Nah, they, yeah, you, they got beef you might have a beef rib and don't even know it because you got sometimes people do beef ribs, but. I'd have gave you that one if you didn't know, but not a hamburger. No, <laughs> the word ham is in it. I don't see how y'all don't understand how no, I put the context together. Like, retarded, there's a turkey huh? burger, there's a hamburger. Like, I didn't know it was like a man, listen. So, what was a cow burger supposed to be? I mean, I don't know. When you dog. looked at that patty, you thought that was pork, though? Um, <laughs> you know, on, like, that's what I want to know. Cause I know you most likely had did spaghetti that, and meatballs and spaghetti and meat sauce. You see, that was at least similar did meat. That, did nah, that I didn't spaghetti like and meatballs, but I did see it though. But you have to have seen it. Um, you never in your entire life growing up did you have spaghetti and meatballs, neither. I don't. I, I had it once, and I just realized that I don't like it from nobody. I don't like the ragu of it. The, the too much uh, red sauce for me. Oh, Some yeah, about too, too much red sauce. In, like, and I mean, I have a very low, low tolerance for red sauce, only on pizza. You know what I'm saying? That's a different type of sauce too for most times. Well, you don't really eat sauce anyway. Right? That's a whole other conversation. But, um. But, yeah, you know it's the same meat, nigga. So, like, check this out. You know how they got, like, Italian sausage on, um, on pizza and it looks like, it looks like the regular sausage, like, uh, beef sausage, kinda? So you thought hamburgers were made from Italian sausage? Kinda like that. <laughs> but they don't taste <laughs> nothing alike. <laughs> like. But a fucking hamburger don't taste like a steak either. So, like, you know. But it doesn't taste like pork or sausage. I mean, a pork. Or ham. Uh, all pork sandwiches don't taste the same. Like a pork chop don't taste like bacon. But it, but it's all. But you can taste the pork though. I don't know. No. <laughs> yes. I mean, no. no like, you can't like, tell pork when you're eating it. There's a certain after little whatever that pork has. Like, like ham, bacon, yeah. pork, pork chops. Pork like, chops. They all got it, that it all pork. Has that pork. That pork taste. taste. <laughs> I never paid attention yeah, to that. Pork after I, taste. I guess. I. I guess I just. I. I eat. I, li- I eat to live, and that's it. I scoff that shit down. You just I, literally I, 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 as a motherfucker. That's what I said. That hamburger tasted like pork to me. I mean, yo, I just, <laughs> yeah. yo, some of that shit I just be running through sometimes, though. Man, I feel, I feel. Because that would basically just like make it a pork pork chop on bun. So it's like. Okay, welcome to the Flower Bass Podcast, <laughs> episode <laughs> eighty six. Side A. Side A. You hear me? We in this thing, you know, the Pothead Potty Mouth Podcast is having a, a potty conversation at the moment, apparently. About pork. About pork. All the alliteration, you feel me? White man's double. This is that actor guy. This is that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford, man. You can find me on Facebook at Martin Bats Bradford, but all your other social media prospects, prospects, platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell it Mr. Out and Mr. Bats, or you won't find Mr. Bats. And as usual, man. I'm here, my brothers. You already know it's me, your boy D Mizzle. You heard me? You can check me out on Instagram at your dig brand LLC and make sure you shop at yourdigbrand.com for all the latest, flyest, freshest gear that New Orleans has to offer. You dig? And um, yeah, I'm present for the day. I think I left my lighter in your car. You probably did. Yeah, you did. did. You? I'm gonna go out there and get it. After I tell them who's live from the fucking underground, straight out of the dungeon, it's your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the room. And if you're out oh, in the streets geez. and you're looking for me, yeah. you can find me on IG, Alpha Joe No E, 504 Facebook. I'm Joseph Alpha Man Pines. And for side A, we in this bitch 86. You know what I'm saying? That do that's it. what I that's what I did after I hit it. That's what we do. That's what we did. So for side A as usual, man. Side A is the lighter side of the situation, man. Is when we get into some of the hottest topics and things on the social medias Hot and topics. in the world and the news. We call that the starter section. Mm-hmm. After that starter section, we get into that bats nerd, nerd out, out moment. moment. Well, nigga, get into you know entertainment things, comic things, just nerdy shit. Whatever's mm-hmm. on the, on the tap on the, now. on the plate, you know, nerd out a little bit. Yeah. At the bass nerd out moment, we getting that Joe Sports. Sports. Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. I don't well, know what he's gonna talk about, but uh, I'm sure he'll have it lined up for us. He'll have something hopefully. I, mean, I got like one story in the sports section. Joe just stepped out to find that ladder we was talking yeah, about. Because we need it. Yeah, we do need that so so very badly. Mm-hmm. And then you know we tell you to turn over to side B. You know what I mean? Side B is what we get to you know more heavier topics. More yeah. things with issues like social stuff and all that. Because I got to remember that 
everybody like one this podcast this podcast might be someone's first mm -hmm. so you know you gotta let them know everything yeah, that goes down every time yeah. so like on side b we're gonna tell you like the issues the politics you know heavy affair and that, conversations that thicker sauce if you, you will as we call it that that etouffee of, of the, the day. day we also mm -hmm. get into that dose of north america where we get you into some new um some new orleans news we got that no huh bitch i know, I know you're mine man. we got that crazy out of new orleans news and we got that hero highlight over there where we have i mean i think it speak for itself we highlight people that we think need to be highlighted in a positive manner because yeah. after you have all that etouffee after you have all those doses of america after you have mm -hmm. all those doses of new orleans you need something, you know. You need to cleanse that palate just a little. Something to smile about, you yeah. know what I mean? So then after that, we tell you to holler at us in the next couple, couple of couple of us. But before we get into the festivities on side A, or be and before we tell you to turn over to side B, we make sure we shout out our folk, our people on the scroll. Hear ye. Here. Scrolls is where we holler at our brother, sister podcast, people we listen to, people we fuck with, such as the Your 30 podcast with the Arrogant Observer, aka the Black Actopedia. Black Actopedia. Black Actopedia. Lawrence J. Weber Jr. and the favorite host, the homie, Marty Edwards. Mm -hmm. They're over there at Your 30. Marty Edwards is also on reviewing that show with me on here on this feed where we review all kind of nerdy ass shit. And L. Dub, the Black Actopedia, is also on the Acting Wild Black show with me where we talk to actors and we get their stories and their journeys and we you know, hopefully could teach people while listening at the same time. Also, the Misbelief Radio Show podcast hosted by DC Paul, Oshun Lilith, Malik the Historical Geek, Jay Steele, Fat Girl Nola herself, and us. us the squad. You feel me? Also, the Yo. On the Lake. I mean, I already shouted out reviewing that and acting while black, but oh, please okay. check them out, definitely, because all these shows on this feed are so different. You ever thought about doing another podcast? I already got three, dog. I don't, I don't need it with you. What, what, about what? I don't know. Maybe that wrestling thing, you. But I can say it's not wrestling podcast. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of wrestling podcasts, and it's hard to keep uh, <laughs> Raheem necessarily afloat. For real, because y'all can at least be like black wrestlers at least keep up with the black. I wrestlers. mean, we was on that for a minute, but it's just you know, four shows right now would be a lot. Three shows is pretty been pretty hard to juggle. Shout out to the On the Lake podcast. On the Lake with Chelsea Dot Me, the protagonist Frankie Cola, and S Bizzle herself. Yeah. We'll figure this out podcast with my homie Jay Skills. I'm going to have him on the show soon. Poet is Carl Lito, the God himself, and Kiki. They on hiatus. They about, about to come back this week. Cool. No, you always got to take a little break for a minute. Four Misses in a Mic podcast, CJ, CCL, and Bree. The women's with the rings and, and the things. Get you right in your relationship life, God damn it. Fuck what you heard podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 50420 podcast. The Sugar Sass and Sarcasm podcast with Kane Colors. <laughs> <laughs> colors. 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 You hear me? I love her. Metal Hand of God podcast. No Dope on Sunday podcast. Home Video Hustle. Home, Home video, video Hustle. hustle. You hear me? They do some pretty damn good reviews. And the Living <laughs> Millennial. In 2000s kind of world. I can't believe we letting the fucking Amazon get burned down. That Dude, actual Amazon. That's an actual tragedy. He's getting burned down. We're going to talk about that a little bit on side B, but it's just so fucked up that, like, it's not just trees, yo. It's the whole, it's beyond, it's beyond the air, the ecosystem that still hasn't been discovered yet. 600 species of things that never even been fucking found out to see what they are yet. And let's not forget, there's people that live in that motherfucker That's what too. I'm talking yeah. about, the people. people. There are people that are live there, and they just Guardians mind, of it, that motherfucker. They mind their own damn business. And you know, the conspiracies could be true on this one, that somebody let that bitch on fire and not giving a damn about those people. Mm -hmm. And you know, how that goes, how yeah. that go, and that's messed up. You know what they say though, man? Uh, one tree make a hundred matches. One match, burn a hundred trees. Motherfucking companies come in there, take that one match, they didn't build out that one tree and chop down, burn the rest of that shit off. Wait, huh? <laughs> how, how, how very dark and poetic. <laughs> I said, what tree Thank make you. a hundred matches? Well, I, I would try to see how they connect. Old proverb. He's probably like throwing. Oh. <laughs> Girl on Jordan. Girl on Jordan's bitch. I don't know what to say after that, nigga. Let's get to that starter section, bro. All right, crack it open. 
Lying about how much you had made Rumors and shit that you handmade Would you buy this if I sold that? Hey, what the hell is my soul at? The American need For American green Is America's greed That's the American dream Black America too busy chasing white American dreams So we sleep So let's everybody eat and repeat where the fuck the cheese? Where the mozzarella at? Tell me where it be. Uh, we saw my Popeyes a minute ago, dog, and uh, like, yeah, uh, I was able to taste that chicken sandwich. God damn it! You tasted it finally today, man. All right, so A, B, C, D, or F. Boy, Jay, Jay still hit me up. She said, "Man, sandwich tasting day, hope." <laughs> I said, "No, whoa. Whoa. whoa, all right." I said, "Hi, right, so I'm bringing sure, it over." Sure, boss. <laughs> so. Uh, we had a whole argument because I don't like those kind of sauces. Uh, that mayo type mayo sauce. So I don't like uh, the type of sauces. And she's like, "You gonna ruin it if you don't get it with the sauce on there." But I'm like, "Bro, I know myself. I know when I eat this freaking like them white type mayo eat ranchy anything mm, in that type of nigga don't fuck with it. I don't like those kind of sauces. So I knew. And she's like, "But the sauces what makes it spicy." Not People that like, eat that kind of shit and eat mayonnaise always tell you some shit like that. Knowing dude, you know you, dude. Right? Exactly. I know it's gonna it's gonna blow me. So it was it was so funny. Then like, cause we have this. Text conversation all the time. This she in this line forever. Like the lines are like crazy, even in the city. You think we had it like I said a month and a half earlier? You think that would have died down? No, if anything, it got worse. Social media, boom, 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 boom. You heard me. Yeah. But uh, when she finally came through with it, I had my little taste of it. You heard me. I, I even, I even recorded it. I haven't recorded, and I guess you know. Okay, I, you got a whole show ready for us. Huh? I mean, I, I got, I got, you know, my face going to tell a tale, son. Okay. The the, the face going to tell a tale, son. Okay. So when I first been into the into the Popeyes peppermint patty, <laughs> tastes a sensation. Huh? You know what I mean? That, that, it was sensation. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the top of a mountain top. <laughs> first, this nigga. First, I look at this dude. Dude, he's me. Okay, let me see. This is the guy that went viral. This nigga just did a hop, a church hop. Like he bought that for Tia. He looking at the camera. <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. Y'all gotta chill. Y'all crazy back there. Points in the kitchen. <laughs> they know what they did. They know what they did for something. It's crazy. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got some car. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I can't even. All right. Look at that boy face. Nah, he is putting on. That boy face. That boy face. That boy said Chick Fil A. Oh, oh. <laughs> As that's my kind of reaction. Uh, what is it? Now here go my face. Okay. Right, now, right. of course, after arguing, I say I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on my shit. I put the barbecue sauce. <laughs> she was mad. I don't care. Cause you are fucking up the sandwiches that way. I don't care. I'm not. I made it better. It's so great. I don't know if this counts. <laughs> I taste. No, I took a bite of it with the sauce, and I, I was right. I don't you like that your, kind of sauce. Like I know sandwich. myself. And then that's what. Guess what? There, there's already a bite into it. I was like, let me take the bite that I'ma like. Uh, and, 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 and I'll give it a shot. So I eat this shit with a piece of bread on it. And tastes like mm, I don't like. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 With that barbecue on it on top of it? Oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so that chicken, so that chicken oh, doesn't taste that good to you with the barbecue sauce. No, the barbecue yeah. sauce with it make that shit hit. I'm going to hit up the barbecue sauce because I ate that bitch plain and uh, with some hot sauce a little bit. And I was just like, I really wish there was spice in the chicken I thought they was going to have. Me too. They kept on saying it's a spicy chicken sandwich, but like she no, told me the spice is in the sauce. sauce. But... That, man, you gotta be sriracha or something for me to taste some spice and I sauce. Love, I love sriracha. That and I, and that chicken presents probably hit with some sriracha. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I, might, I might have to try that. See, so because that sauce wasn't that spicy to me. I took that first little bite and it just tasted like me, the same type of. You know that sauce when you see it. So check yeah. this out. Popeyes had the chicken tenders that had the honey heat on it, and that sauce glazed off. I think would have been perfect with that chicken. Well, I don't know about it, bro. I, I gotta let you try it out one day, dog. I think they still got it. That honey heat. I was like, this. Oh, you talking on. about that sweet? Uh, it, they got it. They, they got it for the. You can yeah, dip in that, there too, uh, right? I, I just know uh, they drizzle that bitch on on the tenders. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That good shit. Uh, yeah. I forget that sweet. 
It's like it it's, come with a purple top. Is it sweet yeah, honey? Is it honey, it's like sweet honey? like sweet. I don't know, sweet something. Sweet something. But, but I didn't know that shit was but good. But you gonna make me just get them freaking things and pour but it on? Yeah, dog. Time, tell you something, Popeyes. If you're listening, they dipping sauce. Hit them with the hit them with that sauce on the next time. Be like, and for those who don't like, you know. Hit him with the, we also got the honey heat chicken pop. I uh, mean, like, uh, any of those dipping sauces honestly would taste good on that sandwich. How about I said oh, some of the best They got some good, yeah, I mean, right, they got some good dipping sauces, period. Yeah, they do. I'll be wondering who to do these sauces. Because I always wondered, like, dog, this shit be so good. Yes, I think I'm going to get that sweet honey, whatever the hell that is, dipping sauce that you could get for the tenders and put it on the next one. But, oh, yeah, the chicken was good. But the chicken was good just how, like, you, know, you ever had, like, a Raisin Cane's fucking sandwich? Yeah, uh, I love it. Yeah. I only, only eat the no? tenders. I only eat the tenders. They shit uh, good like, now. The, the tenders is just the, it's the yeah, same thing. It's just, just the bread. tenders on the uh, <laughs> they, they recycle, bitch. They ain't got no, spe- it's not special. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> they ain't going out there waiting. Right. Like, just slap this bitch on yeah. you know, better be happy with this. Yeah, so, and like, I really always <laughs> ate that. Like, it tastes better than that, but that's what it kind of reminded me of. Just, just on, just how the chicken was just chicken. It's like you know. Sometimes you either like they've they been making a joke about like how Kev, um, Kev on stage had the joke about the hot and spicy, and, my, and you just kept on talking about how man that bitch just get the job done. Oh, it's yeah. not gonna be in the yeah, conversation yeah. for nothing but get the job done. You just talking about that, and like it's, true. it don't taste like real meat though. I love hot spicy, right? That's but the but the beauty. Funny. But the beauty of which why people love Chick Fil A is such is because it tastes like chicken. Yeah, and that's the thing. Well, Chick Fil A is good, but Popeye's always gonna have more swag than them, regardless. And so that's what they brought to it. They brought their Popeye swag to some chicken sandwich. Yeah. You feel me? So it is flavor flavor wise a better tasting sandwich. But I personally like the sauce I put on there, and I'm gonna try the sauces that you told me, Joe, because I think that's gonna just take it up a notch. Did y'all see that right. Chick Fil A? Well, there's many skits, but did y'all see the one where like these guys they always doing the skits, especially animated, all these these black friends, and they did a uh, Popeyes Chick Fil A skit where they pulled up as Chick Fil A, it's a Popeyes. Did y'all get a chance to see that skit? Nah. Oh man, that shit was so hilarious, dog. Let me pull it up here, right quick. Right. But so it- if I can't pull it up, I just talk to you right through, right through right now. But um, in the skit. Your boys like they dressed up as Chick Fil A workers and they pull up, Damn. and your boys like uh, <laughs> talking about the chicken sandwich, this dirty ass place. And it was like, "Hello, how you doing? Can we take your order?" It was like, "Can we take your order? Yeah, can we have the chicken sandwich, the spicy?" And it was like, "That's all. That's all. You that rude ass customer service? Who the fuck talks to any fucking customers like that?" Oh, and, oh, bro, it was too hilarious, bro. I can't find it right now because somebody's calling me, ruining it. Them people, them, them chick, them Popeyes workers, they, bro, I would not want to be one right now. You know, Fuck how, no. you know how tired you are of one making that sandwich or two hearing people order that sandwich. Yeah, that should probably drive you crazy. See, that's all, man. Jay said that's all anybody was ordering in the drive through. It was like I, I saw that meme with that work everybody. sitting outside with her head down. Oh uh, man, he called him as Gladys. That she uh, said, "Why would you give her a uh, name?" Uh, Gladys. <laughs> that's Gladys. <laughs> that's that Gladys. That Gladys. is that is the two new artists. That's the new artists. Shit. They put the song behind the Sometimes I'm tired. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. Bruh. Oh my I'm god, that shit was hilarious, nigga. That shit hurt, dog. I, I feel I'm bad. I'm chicken, dog. Nigga, like yeah, I see, I feel stupid even going to the order the damn yeah, things. Like, I, I feel, I feel like, like bad, like going to order it. Because you know what I'm here for. Right. I'm just like the rest of these <laughs> niggas. I'll be right. like, listen, can I take the other chicken that y'all got stored over there that just nobody's buying anymore? I want right. what these other niggas got. Yeah. And they got to a point where you can't get it no special way neither. You got to get it how they make it. Cause like uh, Jay was trying to get it without the sauce on there for me or the sauce on the side, so I wouldn't have to like have it on there. They were like, nah, fuck all mm-hmm. that. They, they, said, they ain't got time for that. Take shit. it how we get. Nigga it. said we singing them bitches out. We slinging them bitches out. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, get it, get it how you live. It's you one of the cartoons yeah. where them bitches be coming like like woof 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 woof. That's yeah. how they got it. You ain't getting no specialty. You can't get it with nothing extra. You can't get with nothing off it. You got to get it how we give it. I seen a stat that bitch said, nigga pull up to the to the fucking speaker and they just came on that bitch and said. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh man, they say it's, we, it's that critical. Well, somebody put up a stat and said, bro, one of these days we gonna go to Popeyes and the motherfucking uh, chicken machine gonna be broken. Yeah, 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 that's just so stupid, dog. But one day they gonna be out of fucking stick of chicken. Me and Devil was talking about that the deal. Like, no, it's gonna, if, if we out of chicken, that's gonna stop the world, son. But it's really the Boondocks episodes, huh? Right? Then they they did that right, dog. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The chicken flu shit when it was going that was crazy. My favorite episodes, bro. It is the same shit. Dog, this girl put it on my this girl. Shout out to Danielle. Put it on my wall. And I put it on my IG story. But I was watching it, dog. It's the same difference, dog. Motherfuckers losing their mind because yeah. the chicken going crazy. Niggas having fights. Niggas having lines like crazy. Yeah, that's and the next thing you know, you're going crazy with this chicken in there. Mystery bird flu and everybody dying and getting sick off the shit. But they still. Go and get the chicken. Still it's crazy. I want my 
chicken. Cartoons call it, dog. Yeah. yeah. Boondocks call it a lot for sure, but cartoons in general, but Boondocks. Yeah. Boondocks called a bunch Simpsons, of shit. Simpsons, South Park. Shit, South Park. That's what South Park is crazy. Funny enough, South Park called it, but South Park also really, like catches right after it happened and be right on time. I mean, but their point was to do that. Like South yeah. Park's point was to make fun of what already happened, but then when they started making their own shit, sometimes they'll call it. Call you hear shit. me? I think South Park is one of the greatest television shows of all time. Agreed. And Simpsons got the title though. When yeah, it comes Simpsons. To calling it. The Simpsons they got the most call it. They have the yeah. most call it of any cartoon. All the fathers of, of fucking running these like adult cartoons, dog. Simpsons, yeah. I mean, they've never been older cartoons since the Simpsons, but the Simpsons have like have regions. They are king of the north. <laughs> king of the north. You know they're bringing back Beavis and Buddy allegedly. What? Yeah, I, I saw like little hints of that. That shit was so rude. Beavis and Butthead was rude. That was a rude ass show. I still fuck with it though. But uh, apparently, dog, with Popeyes, um, the Popeyes chicken sandwich reportedly bagged over twenty three million dollars worth of advertising just from social media hype. Yeah, these niggas didn't have to drop not one co- commercial not necessarily because all the hype over social media bagged them twenty three million. What the fuck? That's insane, dog. Like Son. that's the power of the internet and social yeah. media. Yeah. And that's probably in the day hype. Hype. These niggas, like I said, they've been running out of sandwiches and shit, son. That's crazy. That's deep. The Dude. hype is real, son. Son. Like, perception is reality. Oh, if, 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 if that shit looks you. big, it's big. My dude, Jamal, my thing, he called it a fad. And I was like, but can a food really be a fad? And I was like, and look then, at it. And then he said, my nigga, one word, Starbucks, bitch. And I was like, you right. Yeah, also. You right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, more so. Because I, I was just trying to attribute it to the fact that, you know, people, it's, half of it is people who really like it like that, so they're going back. And the other half of it is people, people who are trying to try it, trying to see what's up with it. Yeah. But I, but... When you say fad to me, oftentimes I just think people doing it just because other people are doing it. That's happening as well, and that's probably and the most likely is happening as well. But I don't, I ain't, I don't, I, I would hope that more people are eating the sandwich because they like the motherfucker than just buying a sandwich to be down. That's all I'm I saying. I think they buy it. Some of them are buying to be down, and then they bite that motherfucker and do like it. <laughs> that's just like, also oh, true. Man. That's yeah. the steps. I want, I want to be down. And then it's like, oh, but that bitch is good. Oh, no, all right. I, I bandwagon and I'm, I'm, I'm on the fan now. I'm, I'm actually a fan. It's a pretty damn what, good bandwagon. What, what I was waiting for was like the big group of people who's going to be taking pride in like saying, I ain't never bought the sandwich. It's coming. It's already here. It. It's already, yeah, it's already like, started. Speckles of it is happening. Yeah. They got niggas. You're right. right. It's going to come. The first wave of that is you better support me, your friends like you support that chicken sandwich. So right. why everything yeah. got to be yeah. fucking Jim Crow, it's bro? It's a chicken sandwich for three ninety nine. dollars Take the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn sandwich. Right. You need this to be supporting the black community the way you support right. that sandwich. Right. So All that. Fuck I had a homegirl. Y'all yeah. already know who this is. She got on that bitch and was like, y'all worry about Popeyes when the government out here. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, not when the government out here. Because so. CC, CC, still going by y'all slave names. Oh, my God. Jesus the uh, the, the, uh, the Hertep. <laughs> Please uh, go watch Black Lady Sketch if y'all not watching that already, dog. The Hertep is hilarious, dog. Yeah, that, I heard that was a funny show. Yeah, it's it funny. Very, it's legit. Very, it's legit very, funny, very son. Very yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad it exists. Okay. But, um... Man, I think I lost, I lost my... Th- oh, just off the fact of, y'all, people can eat chicken and still care about the movement. Why do they always want to make things either or? Like, like we can't multitask. Like, chewing gum and walking is the hardest thing. I I, I want to eat the Popeye's Cause, chicken. Brother. That mean I can't care about the Amazon. That mean I can't care about ice kidnapping people. Why that mean I can't care gum, about... you need to be walking? That's the problem right there. You're always worried about chewing and not enough on walking. You, you know, half your chewing is slowing down 30% of your walking, brother? So you can't do both. It's just. It's I'm just saying that you're slowing one up to please the other, <laughs> and the white man is the other. And the white man taught us that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that. Sir, it's just gum. <laughs> it's just it gum. Twenty five cents. Come on, bro. Come on. My my one of my favorite memes will and will forever be the one where the girl, the cartoon girl, is holding her fingers on this on this other cartoon person's lips, and she says, "Let people enjoy." Things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let people enjoy Let things. People enjoy Just shut things. the fuck up. Sometimes you can shut the fuck up. Every yeah. opinion is not. Real. Nec- Don't come at a nigga like this. <laughs> Every opinion is not necessary, and that, and that's just the truest thing. You feel me, like. You don't. You don't have to say everything. You don't have to. So sometimes I might have like an opinion or something. I'm like, you know what? I gotta say that one because why upset the establishment? Do you know how many comments I've deleted from face, Facebook? Like thinking just that. Like you know what? I don't have to say this. Just run it back. It doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, or it doesn't have to be addressed. Or on, on top of that, or 
sometimes I might know me saying this might unnecessarily hurt someone else. Yes, even more important. And why yeah. why say it if yeah. I know someone might take it? Like because. People like racists and bigots and fucked up people. I don't care if I hurt your feelings. But if I know I'm about to hurt a group by saying this because I am... Um, what, what's, the word I'm, what, what's the word I'm going to look for? Um, PC? No, no, not PC. I'm saying like because I'm not being empathetic to the whole. to the whole. Because like, mm -hmm. sometimes when something doesn't affect you... You might be not necessarily shitting on it, but you might be that's so not, apathetic. Not consider it. Oh, not consider it. That's what I'm saying. That because it don't affect you, you say something that's very inconsiderate when you could have just not said the shit and just let people live, right. take their lick. Like when people die and dig out people saying, "Well, why y'all running about that?" Let the yeah, people like, mourn. Right. You don't have to always yeah. say shit. You hear me? So it's that type of thing. I mean, and, and that shit irritates me. I hate an inconsiderate motherfucker. Man, fuck it. It's America. You can be considered about what the fuck you want to be considered about. Sucking their dick. That's fine, but how considerate is that? I mean, that's fine, dog. But just just because you're an American, I mean, you got to be a bad person. That's all we are talking about. Yeah, and you know, we got you know, just because you're American, we got the right to choose to be a bad good. And we got a place for people that be bad too. Luckily, funny enough, we just don't lock enough bad people up. We always lock in some of the goods. Well, you ain't got to lock a person up for being a bad person. <laughs> like you just went to the jailhouse. I'm just right. saying, just be empathetic, just care, right. be considerate. That's just all. Be considerate. You it's cannot. So easy. You can also not be considerate, but why? Right. <laughs> What's the point it's of? So much easier to be considerate. Because that ain't my motherfucking business. Yeah, I mean, all right. But if it's not your business, then don't even throw no negative energy towards it. Don't throw any energy. Well, yep. Yeah, that's where you gotta go back to the golden rule of what Grandma Dicey always said: If you ain't got nothing good to say, I don't say nothing. You know what I mean? I'll say it to people not in public. You know, what the fuck you want to a nigga not listening, not looking. Or write a fucking poem. <laughs> you know, right, huh? Do some artistic with it. Be right, some creative. Right. Make a drawing out of it. But you know what you're going to do? You're going to get on Twitter and use your Twitter fingers and try to say what you feel on some dumb shit. And then you get mad because the niggas be like, oh man, this man says some fucked up shit. Probably should have kept this stuff and worked it out. But now we got to flame his ass. So, before the Popeyes craze took over the social medias... The whole Jay Z praise took over the social medias, uh -huh. and we talked extensively about that uh, last um, la on the last episode. But mm -hmm. you know, it still continued. And one thing that started bothering me is how the narrative started shifting to make it seem like niggas is mad because of black empowerment or because a black man is making a power move. And I'm like, no, people ain't taking issue with the black man making a power move. Fuck people no. are taking issue with the hypocrisy hypocrisy that's been laden within the move. Like mm -hmm. like it's old school saying, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like people act like the Beyonce's and the Jay-Z's and the Obama's can't be criticized or, or above reproach. Nobody mm -hmm. is above yeah, reproach. I, saying that. I was telling you this in the car of Mike the other day, D. I feel like, first and foremost, that one of the... Biggest issues is the NFL and Jay-Z tried to make it seem like the point of their partnership was about fighting social injustice. Mm -hmm. When when you look through the layers of what high rolled out and how the information came out, it became quite obvious to a lot of people that your partnership wasn't about fighting social injustice. Your partnership was a give and take situation. Jay-Z, you expected to get some partnership and some ownership in the football team. Super um, NFL, you was hoping that Jay-Z could use his influence through Rock Nation to get some artists and make y'all halftime show watchable again. And when you talk just business moves and leave the social injustice talk out of it then all you're seeing is black business mm -hmm. so my thought process was you should have changed the the optics of everything perspective is reality so if you change the order of the rollout things probably would have been accepted a bit better mm -hmm. you feel me for instance if you would have started if the first information to come out was jay-z gets partial ownership and team People them were like, damn, so far right after right right after we found out he's the first black billionaire in hip hop, now the next movie he is he's um, on the team. He about to own the team. We're not even gonna think about the Kaepernick shit. Y'all brought up that shit. You feel me? That's what made it made it the forefront of our brain. First thing we gonna think about, like, damn, Jay made a move type shit. Well, I ain't gonna say the first thing because Jay was so prominent about not working with Luther. Yeah, but so there's gonna be a little side eye. It's gonna be a little side eye, but what his issue was was like he he it's like they pissed him off in a business manner, and then he sided with the Kaepernick ship and then started saying all this other shit and blah, 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 blah. But initially, um, him and the Super Bowl halftime show couldn't strike a deal. And that's what caused his first riff with them. If you look at that, like that's what I'm saying. He, of it yeah, all. people be trying to make it seem like he's being so freaking like business savvy and stuff. No, no, he, that's the point. He is being business savvy. People acting like he's being so freaking um caring. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. And 
I do believe JC Jay Z cares. He's a win for does, all of us. Yo. He does a lot of things that shows that he cares. But he also, since the beginning of his career, always knew how to play politics. Hustle up, homie. Y'all act like y'all act like philanthropy ain't big business, by the way. But um, so if you would have started with that, he got the team. Then we'd have been like, like interesting. You start with that because the first information that came out was Rock Nation bought the team with the NFL Super Bowl. I mean NFL for the Super Bowl halftime show. And he was like, er. The same halftime show that a lot of artists are boycotting because of cap. Like you, when you and start, because of you, Jay Z, and because you told come on, to do it. come on. Right. So if that's the first, you something from getting the bag. So you made that the first news to come out, and then you had to address the injustice, and now you just looking like you're on the defensive. Then you saying weird shit about cap. In the meantime, it all fucked up. You start with buying a team, then you address the social injustice shit. But since you started with buying a team, it looks like oh, Jay came in the fold for the team. Now oh, he making moves in the social injustice. He looked like he doing power moves instead of being used because we started with him doing something for himself because at first you're wondering they using him what is he even getting out of this shit you feel me that wouldn't be your first thought it's oh he came in the game and now he's changing some shit right you hear me then i would have waited months even if the first thing you did was the rock nation does the halftime show i wouldn't have announced that until way later that would have been the third thing i announced months later because then months after you announced he got a football team and after you announced that oh he's the nigga that's pushing the social injustice initiatives and get cap on board too nigga you need i don't to- think him getting cap on board is possible it may have not have been possible, but it's better than lying and saying you talk to him. Really talk to him. So you can have a, at least have a real. Now, have, see, that's the thing that, that kind of pissed me off about Jay that was really out of character. Is that you lied. Yeah, you, you lied. Talk, that's, yeah. Everything about you seems on point. But right. The part that you lied makes it feel like, dog, what have they got on you? Well, how hard are you trying to get in this club? It's yeah. More, it, and it's more, and because, and it's I more, and it's more like if you started with the announcement of getting the, the, the football team. Then you might have more time to try to get some kind of meeting to at least actually talk to Kaepernick and then have a better thing to say than we're past kneeling. The kneeling thing was a freaking metaphor for something much greater. So when you shit on that, you know, you're going to look like the bad guy. Right. Son, I don't know if you fired your PR person or, or niggas that, te- that tell you about, you know, speaking and shit like that. But that was so stupid to say. That was just stupid. That's what I was going to say. It was just a really goofy way of going about this whole fucking thing. Like, you gonna like, really tell a nigga... It could have really been a fucking power move for him. It, dog, know, he... But. Like Martin said, like you're saying, dog, he didn't have to say, you know, we're past kneeling. That's the dumbest shit you could have ever said in my in your fucking life. Because you already make it a versus thing when you say something you like that. You stood up for right. it too hard. After you co-op his movement with the you, people that blackballed him. Right, you stu- you stood up for it too hard, son. So for you to flip off that hard, that's the number one. Another thing is out of your character. And for you to look like a super huge hypocrite... No, that's not technically out of Jay Z's character, and that's my thing. Jay Z does well, a lot of dirty shit. But, I feel like he does a lot of dirty shit, but he does but a lot of great shit too. I, yeah, I just, so we just let that shit. So slide. we let a lot of the dirt slide because he does so much great. And sometimes it make you wonder: Is this all politics? <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> or not? You'll never really know it. Hope he shouldn't have said with past kneeling. He should have. He should have. He just avoided the whole kneeling and words. The word yeah, kneeling out his mouth. He should have just avoided that. Avoided completely. the thing. Just find something better to say. Or just avoid. It. So you know what, man? You look, uh, I'm gonna talk to Kaepernick about it later. This is the journey from kneeling that got us here. <clears throat> right, dog. Like, because people love the fact that he said, "Okay." Um, we got to take action. And he wants yeah. to focus on the action. Right. And the That's thing is, true. when you say that, you make it seem like Colin Kaepernick to this day isn't still taking action. You feel me? To this day. He still, he still does a lot, you dig? Yeah. But I understand you trying to rile people up to be like, I'm, I'm trying to move it even forward. I'm trying to evolve the movement. That's great. You can do all that without shitting on Cap, which is why I'm saying you announced that y'all doing the Super Bowl shit months later after all injustice shit is not, so it won't look shady. It won't look like, oh, they got you to ring the niggas back for them. Right. You know what I mean? The owners got you to wrangle the niggas back to entertain the white folk. That's why people got issue of how the optics yeah. of this looks, my nigga. Brought you back to get this music popping so niggas can sing and dance. Singing huh? and dancing, dancing and singing, you heard me? That's it's why like, you brought them back, huh, boy? So it's just... It, it, gonna take my horse to the <laughs> old <road. laughs> Right? You feel me? <laughs> It's, it's optics. It's how, like I said, it's, it's, yeah, it's how you do that things. Image, man. You it's that, that image. Perception. And then, like, and I feel like he got hitters because it came out that uh, apparently he told JD not to do the same deal that he wound up doing. Yeah, but, then, <laughs> but then JD came back out and told Complex that he didn't say that. And that's what made me of go, course he did. Nigga, Jigga got to you, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you slid up on that boy, like, say, son. It's a bad idea, boy. He, he finessed the fuck out of him. Like, Here's man. two million right here. More than that. 
Jermaine Dupri is a he going two million ain't that much to Jermaine. Jermaine only got two million. I mean, Jermaine is a, ain't as rich as he would as he should be, my nigga. All right, listen, but Jermaine, Jermaine Dupri seen money seven million. You ain't gonna shush him for two mil. Nah, I'm Jay Z, nigga. I can shush you for nothing. Well, that's the thing I'm saying. I feel like he got to that <laughs> nigga. I get you two mil out of, like as a blessing, son. Nigga, I'm helping you out. Cause three, <laughs> like you know, I'm Jay motherfucking Z. You Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> Nigga, please. Because three different sources uh, said he told them that JD, Jay-Z did this. And then when the when the news came out, that he comes up and says, no, no. What he said was, he said, and I'm like, uh, So as the camera's cut, they both called Jay-Z. Is my mama gone? Is she, is she in a safe house now? <laughs> 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 All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Z. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter. Hold. Oh shit. H to the OV. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm throwing up the rock right now. I'm in the same house. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ferrari and Jaguar switching four legs. Top down screaming now. Money right, ain't a thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, so it's just an interesting topic how people is making it this whole deal of. And in the sports section, this one cat in particular pissed me off, and we're gonna run it in the sports section by him since that's where it fit more. But um, just the general thing of like how we at this versus, and then because one rapper even used to say fuck Kaepernick, and I'm like, y'all, it's not supposed to be Kaepernick versus Jigga in this fashion, you feel me? It's just y'all gotta understand that Jigga ain't perfect. We hopefully he does all these things he say he's gonna do, but at the end of the day, like we said on the last episode, both the NFL and Jay Z was already doing those things. Mm-hmm. That's that's the freaking the, the, the twist of it all, yeah. like that's yeah. the Alfred uh, Hitchcock of it, yeah, yeah. Been, so. Been cooking. And then this uh, this article came out. No, Jay Z is not about to become an NFL owner. Plus, league insider notes, etc. So, um, and they start talking about how um, now it's almost like the NFL is kind of reneging on Jay Z on being this partial I, owner. L- let me tell you something, dog. <clears throat> I, I doubt that. The thing is, right now, the and the league. This is what separates NFL from the NBA. Because. Um, in the league, they, they do a lot of top secret things, though. They usually don't go over nobody's head until it's already happened. So the fact that they, they say they not have a team, that could be out there in the ethers. And that shit still could be going through as we speak. And it'll come out later. I mean, even the article saying, it's not saying it can't pop up a deal. But as of right now, all the whispers and the talk of a deal happening, they saying it's not happening. How people thinking. Like how we speaking, how, how we feel like it's an equal trade. And I still feel like it's an equal trade. This might be just some shit to get niggas off the scent. But this article is saying that so far, um, they kind of reneging on them. And that's why people are saying, damn nigga, you, you done sold your credibility and you ain't even getting the, the, the meat, bitch. Hmm. So that's we'll see how the story develops. Most of the time yeah, when you sell yourself, you do lose completely. Hmm. You think you're going to win anything, but then you realize, no, nah, this ain't what I thought. And on some shit, Jigga most likely coming into this with the best thought of, uh, I'm a black man, I'm trying to get it. Because, you know, they right. got the, I'm trying to get a seat at the Son. table last niggas. Right, because that's the table table. And I understand. I respect it. I'm not going to hit on you trying to build a dynasty or get excellence. It's but just, don't dance for them in front of us to get it. And don't play us like we don't see the dance. Right. Don't get mad because we see the dance. I'm not going to hate on the results, but don't get mad when niggas see the dance and point out the dance. That nigga out there looking like Bojangles. He ain't looking like full-blown Bojangles. Not yet. No, he ain't Bojangles. Bojangles. He ain't Bojangles. No, Hope still got respect. Oh, he dance. He still got respect. Nigga dance, boy. JC, he dance. He still got respect on his name for me. He said we passed Nillin. That nigga hit no. his first tap right there. Patow. Oh, no. That, was, to the show. that might have been a little tap. <laughs> That nigga was t- that nigga do, 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 do. challenge. You feel me? But I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give him. He ain't like. I'm, I can't give him the cool Monica just yet, dog. Because it's like it's so much business and they got layers too. What's happening and such, and there's much more that got to be developed and come out. 110. But uh, it's just an interesting thing to see as usual. Black Twitter is split and we fighting each other instead of looking at the bigger picture. It gets it just gets so goofy, dog. I, I get mad because the fact that Eric Reed got involved in today, and they, there's a thing with Jay Z against Eric, Eric Reed, the article I read about, and I, I'm just like this, you hear me? Um, I'm just gonna sit back, and this is another one of the things I'm gonna watch it play out, and I'm gonna just see it from there because I know one thing about the NFL. They're going to do something and nobody going to know how the fuck it's going to play out until it play out. And it got that meme of how the football players taking money from the NFL, but they're going to get mad at Jay-Z for taking money from the NFL. Nigga, you work. Your boss is the white man. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm saying... Nigga, your boss is the white man at your stupid-ass job as the janitorial service staff, nigga. 
Get the how you gonna take money from Jay Z? I'm saying it's a false. It's a false. Ain't got no logic. It's a false equivalence, dog. Them niggas doing their job as football players is different from a nigga who's like you said at the top of this said, "Fuck the NFL. I don't need them. They need me." Telling other people don't go dance, don't go perform. He's like, nigga, no. The reason people coming at him because he was talking shit. Right. (laughs) You don't start talking shit and then thinking nobody gonna remember the shit you talking. Whenever the soul comes (laughs) on, we got the fucking soul. Right. We laugh at that shit. We just laugh just now, nigga. Oh, ah, stack your money fast enough, nigga. What? I told us, uh, uh told scoo, the Super Bowl. Scoo, you know, that's almost every time Jay Z speak from now on. Scoo, scoo, scoo. <laughs> scoo. <laughs> I think that boy with that scoo, scoo. Scoo, scoo. Scoo, scoo, scoo. scoo. Oh, fuck you, Jay Z, boy. <laughs> fuck you, but that one decided. <laughs> oh man oh, shit. Next up dog Apparently the White House Is bad Because uh, ASAP Rocky Didn't thank them For helping him get out Even oh, though Of course they're bad He was still found guilty He still gotta pay some money It's not like They got to help him get back But oh, So man. they kept that man uh, A known celebrity in America That they do know In jail for like four, Three or four weeks You know what I'm saying They kept him in jail For three or four weeks Yeah they had ASAP For a minute son No oh, No shit. No they did they yeah, that dog They had him in that They got him in, in a fight That he didn't even start he, that was committed by a whole other group, you dig? Uh, but they got him on camera busting that ass. That's the reason why he's taking right. that. As, yeah, that's the thing. Even though they got the footage of him not trying to fight, even though they got the footage of him not trying to fight, they also got footage of him Fuck stomping a nigga out. <laughs> so you can't say he ain't assault nobody because that's did, what we no, got. He, but he defended himself. But they don't got them niggas putting their hands on him. Aside from that shit they showed with a thing hit, hit his bodyguard, as far as fisticuffs, only fist the cuffs on video is him st- him and his niggas stomping a nigga house, right? <laughs> so it was like he was fucked on go, but at least Fuck. hopefully the White House did pull strings to get him back in America because you know he ain't about to go back. You go pay that money and be like, look, you yeah. gonna just get this money. I'm not going back to your jails. Hell right, no. I ain't about to see no Sweden court. Nigga. I ain't about to see no Swedish anything, you hear me? They found him guilty over there. They had the court case. I just know he been in America. I feel like he ain't leaving. I wouldn't Hell either. No. I wouldn't Son, leave. First thing that boy came to, he boy, he got him a cheeseburger. And then he hooked up with six white women. Yeah, all in his car the most American way, dog. That boy was in the car, cheesed up. If I was stuck Back in home. Sweden all that time, I'd have been running to some black women personally. You should have. Yeah, you know I mean, you know I'm like, now nah, all I see was Swedes, man. Get me a big juicy Meg the Stallion Texas beauty right now. Except right no, the same see stupid ass nigga that said it wasn't the ra- it wasn't racism wasn't involved in how he was put in jail and how he was treated. I was yeah, like, he serious? said that. I mean, some people gonna be lost in the sauce till the sauce get lost. So it is yeah, what it is. Because happens on the plats too tight, nigga. They are a bit too tight, but uh, <laughs> I just find it. I gotta give him them props, nigga. Nigga, you gonna make me thank you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. He met. He thanked his fans and his friends and his family, but he didn't thank the White House, nigga. How petty are you? How petty oh, are petty. you? Also in the starter section, man. Fifty Cent savagely kicks Wendy Williams out of his party. Bitch, wait outside. What? <laughs> he continues to be the biggest villain in the world. What? Like, what happened though? But don't fuck with Wendy oh, Williams like that. Yeah, yeah Wendy be talking mad shit. They have oh, been really? having beef for a minute. How did you even show up to the party? Yeah, I don't know why you showing up to the party. Party, dog. Okay. This video. Wendy Williams not being able to get Yeah. It's been some that years. Boring. That was boring. That was boring. video. But apparently, it's been some years. I saw it when he did find out after 50 had put her on the blacklist for the party. Wait. <gasps> yeah. I saw it when Wendy took her son to the party show up? for his 19th Cancel birthday. Like because he's a huge Snoop fan, so she wanted to get him a photo with the rapper. Snoop was part of the lineup, headlined by 50, along with guys like Jaquise, High, Fabulous, and Trey Songz. Okay. We're told a plan went down without a hitch. Security with the blah, 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 scored her and her son inside directly to Snoop's section. No run-ins with 50. As for Snoop, he was his usual awesome self and showed them nothing but love. However, I saw to say Wendy did, not, did find out afterward that 50 had put on a blacklist. But because of her connection with her family town of Elizabeth, she didn't have that many issues. Of course, 50 paints a different picture of what went down. He shared the video of Wendy outside the club, outside the club Sunday, and wrote, You can't just show up to my party if you've been talking shit about me. 50 said, Bitch, wait outside. But to be fair, he never nah. claimed she got turned away and never got in. So, 
One story saying I got in that bitch and got a store, got a shot with Snoop. Another saying and I put that bitch out. Either way, go 50 remains the villain of hip hop. This nigga here, yeah. him and Floyd started freaking beefing again. Oh, and geez. he he wrote this thing to Floyd and said, and was apologizing. So that was so fucking sincere about a bunch of shit. To the end. And to the very end, he go, now, let me know when the champ can read. Somebody read this to the champ. <laughs> or whatever. I was like, oh, you must yeah, Let me know after the champ, if someone reads this champ, how you feel. Wow. You're a man. Damn it, Shout out to Oregon who is about to pass a bill that would allow black people to sue folk who make frivolous 911 calls with racist intent. Nice. All right, Oregon, step in the right nice. direction. Good Come job, on, Oregon. They had to go everywhere, son. Oregon make Trails. Oregon Trails. The Associated Press reported that the bill is a joint measure. Uh, between um, Bynum, who's a representative over there, and the state of house sole black representative, two other black, the black people basically in their legislation said this need to happen. Uh, while the bill doesn't doesn't create criminal charges, it opens a pathway for people to sue the caller for up to two hundred and fifty dollars in damages. Okay. Victims yes. must also be able to prove the caller had racist intent. Of That's gonna be kind of hard. Of course. And yes. that the police were called in an effort to purposely discriminate. Bynum drafted the legislation after she found herself on the receiving end of such a call. You a whole representative. The lawmaker was out canvassing door to door in her bid for re-election last July when a woman reported her to police saying Bynum looked suspicious. It was just bizarre, she told the Oregonian at the, at the time. It boils down to people not knowing their neighbors and people having a sense of fear in their neighborhoods, which is kind of my job to help eradicate. At the end of the day, it's important for people. Blah, blah, blah. People, white people got to fear black people, ma. Right. And I'm glad you had to keep it political, but that's basically what it was. But I'm glad that you used your power in a manner that made sense. Yeah. We want to talk about how Jay-Z says, actionable items. Well, that's some action right there. <laughs> and last up, dog, you heard about California? Uh, got this whole deal about necking, like them kids. What? Oh, that's in California. I saw an article. I didn't read where I was at. Yeah, they trying so, to eradicate, you know, the neck. When you get that neck, are you serious? Elementary school is sending warning about necking game. Yeah, you know. uh, let me be honest with y'all. Okay, so it's one. School. I got suspended for necking a kid, but the thing is, not it, was, it wasn't just me. It was me, Deuce, Josh, and this other nigga. And like, to be fair, this kid deserved it. But we. <laughs> We necked him so bad he did have welts on his neck. Like like he when he walked straight in the doors. Oh, so you did abuse. I feel like it was abuse because like. So um, you abused this person's neck. I'd have beat the fuck out of one of y'all. Yeah, we'd been fighting. Y'all had to jump me. Listen, you probably would have fought, but you wouldn't have won. You know. I mean, y'all have to jump. Especially against me. Y'all have to jump me. (laughs) Me alone, I would have knocked y'all. But clown. Not if you necking me to abuse, bitch. Yeah, like the thing is, super same. I when I necked him, I necked him like a regular neck. Josh hit him with the papa. Josh big too. Y'all big niggas necking this dude. Deuce goes, he goes upstairs. Deuce hit him so hard his glasses come off his face. Oh, there's a kid that wear glasses at that. Y'all sound like bullies. Yeah, he was such a, but he's a snitch. He was a snitch ass kid, dog. He just tried to have all the leeway as to, to why he abused this. No, no. This no. This listen, kid. y'all remember in recess? I know you about to talk about the nigga that be with the teacher that's always yeah. snitching. Yeah, so. That nigga was like that times 10. But you have to beat on him? No, it was neck. I give him the right neck. You said Josh, he had whelps on his neck. Son, that wasn't mine. <laughs> I was just in the gang with it, so I got. You spent. just said this man got whelps on his neck. That dumb and, and then you also said, "No, we wasn't beating on him." No, I said I wasn't beating on him. <laughs> oh god! I get that man neck like you normally give neck. Like I got necking over the years. They were slocking that man like giving that boy that kapow. He went to like about five other people up after me. I was the very beginning. I started off his day. As soon as he walked through the door, I went. Bah, bah. I feel like times have changed because the first time I ever got neck was from my PE coach in elementary school. Really? Whenever somebody came with like, no, a, huh? if you come with like a fresh cut, I yeah. forgot his oh, name. Oh yeah, that's what, that's what it was. Coach, was whatever. Cut. Yeah, I forgot yeah. his name, but he used to always yeah. He, he was a, he the one who introduced the neck to, to my life, and then you know it came from that. Yeah. So it's just funny how now it's like it's so bad that it has to be outlawed. Wow, it's deep, dog. In California, they say that shit is actually abuse, man. Fucking kid probably did come on with us. Well, tune into the Misbelief Radio Show where niggas still gonna be getting necked because that's the segment and that's where it goes down. Yeah. But yeah. let's move into that bats nerd out moment. Bats nerd out moment. Bats nerd out. Bats nerd out moment. Bats nerd out moment. Best 
So in best nerd out moment, first up, man, of course, I was talking about this on the last episode of reviewing that show, and more news has come out about Spider-Man Mania. Oh, my <laughs> the God. The standoff between Sony and Marvel is just wowzers. Yeah. That's so just Spider-Man isn't, isn't coming over? He's about to be fucking snapped again. Oh, he about to hit his ass with that Thanos snap. Out the MCU. So I explained this in detail on the last episode of reviewing that, but the bare bones of it is basically, yeah. it's basically, dog, like, Sony and Marvel, they had a deal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because back in the day when Marvel went bankrupt, they sold off their movie rights to different companies. Mm -hmm. That's why it was a big deal when they bought Fox, because that got them X-Men and Fantastic Four back. So for Sony, they, you know, Sony like, nah, nigga, we, we holding on to these movie rights of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So Marvel is, Spider-Man's a Marvel character. He's all in the comic books. He's the highest selling goddamn comic book hero Period. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He's Spider-Man. He's like number one. And the reason why Sony did this deal years ago is because they keep making these movies, but they're not even cracking a billion. And if you got the number one superhero mm -hmm. in the goddamn world, your movie should be making more money than they're currently making. Yeah. So Marvel like, well, Spider-Man go help us out because they make our movie. You know, we get that Spider-Man in our universe. Sony like, well, Marvel about to do all the goddamn work. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let them do it because in the box office money. Sony was getting 95%, Marvel was getting 5% of the box office, even though they're doing all the work, but they still got money up all the merchandising, you okay. feel me, toys and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So uh, now it's time you know, to come back to the table. Spider-Man has um, appeared in Civil War, he appeared in Avengers Endgame, he appeared in, uh, what's the other Avengers? Uh, two. Uh, one. I mean, two, the, the last one was Endgame. The one before that was the, uh, the Thanos movie. Infinity he, War. Yeah, Infinity War. And he had two movies of his own. So this it was supposed to be a three-picture deal. It has He's had five appearances in the Marvel Universe. So now it's time to come back to the table to renegotiate. So, of course, Disney slash Marvel are the same. Now, what came out before was that Disney wanted 50, uh, 50 percent, wanted to make it a more 50-50 deal in the box office. Mm -hmm. And Sony tried to be like, well, we was trying to make the deal, but uh, Kevin, but Disney walked away because Kevin Feige got too much on his plate. But this, according to this article, was the real deal was Sony feeling themselves right now because they feel like um, they Spider Man cracked a billion, mm -hmm. making it the biggest movie of their entire history of Sony pictures. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And they feel like with everything that Marvel is kind of set up, they don't even need Marvel no more to still be successful with Spider Man. Mm -hmm. And it's our character, bitch. Marvel really wanted thirty percent. Not 50. They just like, let's get 30, nigga. Fuck. Right. We're making this pop. And you still get the bulk of the box office. And if this last one made a billion, what you think the rest going to make? Let's make this money together. But Sony like, nah, nigga. Nah, we ain't about to up that, that 30. Yeah. We was at 95 to 5, bitch. You ain't getting 30. So it's a old school Western standoff. Disney said, well, if you ain't going to give us 30, if you ain't budging, we out here. So now the fans about to suffer because... Spider-Man is just not going to be in the MCU for right now. Now, most people in the game feel like before the next Spider-Man movie, they're, they're going to work it out. They're going to work it they out. They got the cooler heads have to prevail and see it's it better out. for them to work together. Yeah. But currently, old school Mexican standoff, my nigga. Fuck you, Ron. They you think I'm about to not get 5%? Did you see the fucking movie? Yeah. Compare one Spider-Man fucking movie to your whole fucking collection of Spider-Man over there. And see what the fuck you get you... Suck on my cock, Ron. You're a fucking cut. That was like that's probably what's happening. Though. I mean, of, of all the movies, though, this is the first one, the one with Marvel to crack a billion. Not even the old, not even the old Spider-Man movies cracked that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Fucking Tobey Maguire, Ron. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and but like Sony, they had Venom was successful. Nobody saw that coming. Into the Spider Verse was successful. Nobody saw that coming. So they and they got a Morbius movie, which is this vampire in the Spider-Man universe. Mm. So and, and that's starring uh, what's my what's the nigga name uh. Who? Uh, the actor, he was the new Joker. But, uh, uh, Jared Leto? Yeah. Jared Leto, he's about to be Morbius. So, you know, yeah. Sony smelling themselves, dog, and I wish they stopped. Because <laughs> only the fans being hurt here. And anybody that saw the, most, the last Spider Man, the, the, there's a huge, huge cliffhanger at the end of the last Spider Man that makes it almost impossible to wonder how you're going to ignore that moving forward if you're making Marvel movies. So it's just weird. It's, it's a weird direction we're going to be going into it. A lot of us fans hoping they don't. Apparently, they're talking about storming the freaking Sony Studios. About 3,000 fucking yeah. Marvel fans have already joined together. Like, you know what? Fuck Area 51. We got to go over to Marvel now. We got to go to Sony. Y'all fucking with these people. Comments. Niggas about to stop buying PlayStations. I mean, dude, because that's the thing, too. They're going to boycott 
um, a, a Spider-Man movie not made with Marvel. Yeah. They, boy, that shit go trash. They going to send that bitch to trash. Yeah, say, be, Marty, was say, Marty was saying that specifically on the last episode, and he was absolutely right, dog. You try to put out a Sony Spider-Man, and we all see in front of our faces how the game went down. So, People Sony are not going to support Spider-Man, it. Even in 20 years, I believe, dog, because the way the, the, the franchise is built up and how it's happened and how it's going to play out if it goes like that, that could be 20 years from now. So, niggas still be like, nope. Y'all could have shared the character. Because that's the thing. It says as you have the movie rights, let him still play in Marvel. But if you is there some other Spider-Man story you want to tell? If you want to cross over with Venom, you own the movie rights, put Tom Holland ass to work. Now you got to do this over here. But don't lose out on money. And you about to. They stocks dropped. It's mm. like, yo, don't yeah, be stupid. They playing with fire. Don't be stupid. Disney going to buy them out. Buy the whole song. That's the funny, watch. boy. That's, that's the way everybody's saying, dog. Disney going to be like, how much? Ooh. So, uh, the newest Mortal Kombat movie has some people cast. Oh, cool. You feel me? And, um, Let's see. Who's, who the fuck is in it? I'm just happy that they're making a new Mortal Kombat movie. It's kind of sophisticated. Right, Makad nice. Brooks is playing Jackson Jacks Brook Bridget Briggs. Okay. Uh, Makad Brooks, um, I know him from the Supergirl show. He plays uh, grown-ass Jimmy Olsen. Okay. But uh, there's something else I knew Makad Brooks from before then. Um, I forget what it was, but... I'm, I'm interested. He's big, tall. He got he muscled. Yeah, just you know big, what I'm big, tall. All right. Yeah, yeah man. That's fine. Yeah, he's been in a lot of things. Okay. Um, Joe Taslim. No, Taslim. Joe Taslim at Sub Zero. Why did he's a all beat up? <laughs> he's in one of his movies. He was in. He's a renowned martial oh, artist, and apparently James Wan been fucking with him for some years. Oh, shit. Yes, okay. it's beautiful. There's some martial artists that can act. Cause the last movie they yeah. just got martial artists, but they didn't get ones that can act. So yeah, come on, this guy's fresh. been in some shit. Cool. Um, right, a real Asian for to be Raiden. Thank you, God. Right, thank you. I mean, I fuck with Raiden one in Mortal Kombat one, even though he wasn't Asian. But that's because we didn't know no better. It should have been Asian from. Should have been Asian. Asian. Ted and Nobu Asano. Cause how's this Asian god a white man? That's right. wrong. That's true. <laughs> that yeah, is one, wrong. The first one looked a little Native American. No, nah, he was white. Both times was white, dog. Yeah, nigga. That was right. Highlander, nigga. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, the dude. Oh, he from Thor. He's a dude from Thor. It's Warriors Three. Okay, mm-hmm. you gonna be raiding? Let's go, Tanadado cool. Asano. Uh, let's who else we got? Ludi yeah, Lin as Luke Kane. So it's our Lou. All right, boy. Uh, you can catch in 2017 Power Rangers. Oh, he was the black. Oh, oh! He was the black Rangers in the Power Rangers movie. He had a lot of charisma. He had a lot of charisma in that. I see you, dog. All right. And crazy, he was in Striking yeah, Vipers. Yeah, Striking Vipers. Oh, too. shit. Interesting. 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 All, right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. The Asian dude right. from Striking Vipers in Mortal Kombat. Okay, let's go. I'm with him. Also, okay, who you playing? Ooh, Sit, hey. Sissy String as Melina. We got a black Melina in this I like that. Right That's what's up. Uh, she, she a newcomer. She's playing Melina the Clone of Katana, and she hasn't really been in much. All right, she pretty though. I see you, Sissy Stringer. Yeah, but they are gonna give her them fucking teeth though. And that's all we have. Right, I forgot Melina the ugly one. And that's all we have so far. I still hit with the teeth. I mean, I ain't gotta get hit. I ain't hitting with the teeth, son. Sorry, man. The, the whole time you fucking her, it's just these big jaws of fucking hell in them face, in your face, in your face, <laughs> breathing <laughs> to bite you. Fuck no, God God like, God. Like, I'm killing this demon right here. I'm giving her this fucking. That turns you on, fucking a demon. It don't turn me on, but in the moment, I gotta. Uh, I, what turns me on is powering over and winning and taking it to the max. And I'm gonna give her the max. You dig? Now, I ain't gonna fuck her no more after this, but she gonna tell all her friends in another round. See that boy Joe? Don't kill him. That's good dick right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna well. leave that where it is. Apparently, Jon Snow, uh, Jon Snow, Kit Harrington, who plays Jon Snow, uh-huh. is um, close to signing a deal with Marvel to be in their universe, but we don't know to who he's going to yeah, be. They, 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 that's the secret. Ah, uh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. And that's what I'm over here wondering. Like, who Jon Snow who about to be? be? Who are you about to be, bitch? So, we Jon don't know Snow. yet. You know nothing, Jon Snow. All right. Who is Jon Snow? Hit me out here. Jon Snow is the uh, nigga in the, in the, in the north. He, the king of oh, the north. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Well, he ain't the king yet from where he at, but he yeah. the brother that went to go fight in the north with the ice stuff with the, the black. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, yeah, him. The, I don't bastard. the bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the bastard. bastard. Jon Snow, we got to get your ass caught up. Bastard. Um, the Joker movie got a rated R. I'm with that. And, all right, good. And um, so far, I was talking to this on, also on reviewing that, it's been getting a lot of good reviews on the festival circuit already, but... Everyone has to be put on notice that their version is nothing like anything you've seen in the comic books. It's set in like the 80s and they're flipping it like a Martin Scorsese movie. Hmm. Okay, that's, I like that. And he's a mentally disturbed person that basically snaps and starts a revolution of anarchy. 
So that's cool with me. I'm curious to see 1980s New York telling a Joker story in the vein of a Scorsese flick. You that know what? You know what'd be dope. dope? Yo, it'd be dope. that's gonna be fire. That sounds raw. Yeah. I think it would be yeah. dope if they came out with like a franchise of different stories that Joker has told and different movies of it. And so we could just see just see it, but even though it don't have to have the piece Oh, they all in with... Oh, that was just one... Because that's one of the things in the comic where they keep um, Joker's origin multiple choice. Whenever he tells it, he always say, like, he basically, what I just said, I like to keep my origin multiple choice. So you can, he's like, you can never trust what story he gives you. In some stories, he's a gangster that fell into a vat of acid. In some stories, he's a former stand-up comedian that uh, was trying to get money for his family because they was poor and shit and got caught up with this gang. Another story, like, there's always these stories and there's going to be one added to the pool. It's not supposed to be in any way connected to the Batman movie coming out with Rob Patterson. It's his own standalone thing. DC has, they're going to have two different universes. They're going to have the regular universe that they reboot and then reestablish certain things in. And they're going to have this Elseworlds universe where they're going to just let motherfuckers come on and tell whatever stories they want to tell. So I'm hyped to see where this goes. The rated yeah, R Joker film. Really so really vicious. You dig? Rated R films usually get the best things for me. And uh, last up in Bats Nerd Out moment, a trailer was just released um, called Motherless Brooklyn that features Gugu and Bartha Raw. Oh, who I got such an actor and regular crush on this woman. She's gorgeous, but she's also an absolute beast on that acting shit. And Michael K. Williams, who's also a beast, mm -hmm. always killing it. Yeah, Co starred in 1950 set drama. And uh, let's check this trail out, y'all, man. I want to see what how y'all feel about how this looking. Okay. Okay, listen. I got something wrong with me. That's the first thing to know. I got threads in my head. I got threads in my head, man. I twitch and shout a lot. If. Makes me look like a damn freak show. Can't you ever I'm cut that out? I'm sorry. Touch it, Bailey. I'm sorry. But inside my head's an even bigger mess. I can't stop twisting things around. Words and sounds especially. Have to keep playing with them until they come out right. Sorry. Jeez. Forget I asked. Like I said, a damn mess. Then I started working for Frank. Frank Minna, Private Eye. Boys. Frank, frankly, frankly, Franco. He's the one who taught me how to use my head, turn it into a strength. He gave me a place in this crappy world until I screwed up. Anybody know what Frank was into on this? There's something going down, and it's big, and they were not happy about what he found. We find who did this, and we square accounts. If I figure it out, I'm gonna make him regret it. I promise you that. No... That's her. That's the girl that Frank was following. I think she found something. What happens to poor people in this city wasn't news yesterday, and it won't be tomorrow. Where's everybody go? Mostly just disappear. This town is run by Moses Randolph. When someone isn't seen for what they truly are, that's a very dangerous thing. Do you have the first inkling how power works? Power is knowing that you can do whatever you want and not one person can stop you. Those people are invisible. They don't exist. If you threaten his work, he will destroy you. You all alone? He's got no idea. You're webbed up in this somehow, and these people aren't gonna stop. If, if, if. You got a head just like mine, always turning things around. Some people call it a gift, but it's a brain affliction just the same. You remember what I said? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. What don't I know? You got all the fucking heavy hitters in there, I see. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Edward Norton, Bruce Willis, uh, Willem Dafoe. Yeah, they Edward Norton's killing Alec Baldwin. Role. Alec Baldwin. Yeah, off the trailer, Edward Norton is giving that shit that his works already. Yeah. I don't know. That shit looks intense. I need to see what the hell is the conflict. I'm curious, but is that's one of those roles where I'm I'm when you playing when you playing somebody as a mental affliction or like an addiction or anything like that. Like they say, don't go full retard, quote unquote. But I don't think he's full retard. Some of that shit felt extra to me. Yeah, mm -mm, I didn't feel it. Yeah, so I'm I'm hoping it don't you know come across like that. Some because 
I don't know. Some of it, I was like, okay, I, I see what you're doing. Then when I saw he was the writer, the director, it's a, a piece of this feels ah, like for me a vanity a project. Vanity project, yeah, oh, man. There's so many people that jump a part of it though. They, I feel like they they, they respect the artwork. I'm hoping that it's do. good. I'm not saying it won't be good. I'm just saying everything about that story to me pulled me in, except for the affliction. I feel like if he played it straight, I would still be just as interested. He decided to give that character that affliction so he have some actory shit he could be doing through the story. And I'm like, that story still seems interesting. Like Bruce Willis as a as a freaking gangster nigga, like yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then he get killed. Now you trying to figure out this whole thing with, 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 with shit. you know what I'm saying? With that though, when Mbappe got, I always fuck up her name. Um, I gotta see it written for me to say it right. Uh, Google Mbappe Raw. You know what I mean? You see going down this whole tunnel. I think the trailer may have shown a little bit too much, but um. Yeah, and he may seem like Michael K. Williams was bigger than he was. He had that one little scene. Hopefully, he has more in the movie because I love seeing him do things. <laughs> ever since the wire, I yeah, he needs to be a dancer. Yeah, I heard that. But ever since the wire, he's just been he, his career has been very intriguing. He takes some good roles that fit him. That's a he has beauty. Very good choices. He has great choices yeah, in which shine and highlight like his real, real. Oh, yeah, he's good. Yeah, man. So uh, anyway, guys, let's get into some sports. Sports. Fuck yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So off the dump, Venus and Serena, they are part owners of the Dolphins now. Oh shit. They actually in the table, you know, you know what I'm saying? Damn. So that's what's going on on that level. That's like a whole lot of money they they's getting tonight. Mm-hmm. They's about to be eating the schools. That soccer player died. What soccer player died? Pele. Oh, word? Yeah. Damn, how? I think he was just old. Oh, man. Well, yeah, Pele died. All right, Pele. Rest in peace, Pele. Rest in peace, man. Uh, the big three is having it down here right now in New Orleans today. That's that fucking NBA league the Ice Cube started. So oh, there's going to okay. be some stars down here playing basketball. Football still going on. Saints then won a couple of games. Lost a couple of games. But we're looking all right so far. That was preseason, huh? Yeah, we got one more game left. Who we got to play? Ah, I forgot. I don't really care too much about preseason. After all the things yeah. I've seen for the first two games, I've seen enough. What you What you think about that new quarter? I think uh, De- uh, Teddy Bridgewater is a beast. I yeah. Think, I think Tyson Hill is not ready to take full position of quarterback, but he's still a good quarterback and definitely a good pe- all around piece. Like you use him in any kind of way: tight end, wide receiver, fullback, running back, blocker, fucking like use him for the side swing for the option. Uh, he could play cornerback. He didn't play defensive end before. He even been on the line and hit a sack. This man has done a lot. Okay. You know, so that's that's off the dump on that level. Oh, uh, what else is going on? Oh, as far as New Orleans news, niggas is getting fed up with the baby cakes as the name. That's about to change again. Yeah, I hate the baby cakes. I don't know where they even got that shit from. That, shit that was whack. As fuck. Yeah. Oh, what else has been going on? Did the Pelicans now? get Lonzo Ball? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? Well, you know, that's that's a trade I talked about a while back. I oh, mean, okay. how I feel about it is that um, he's young, he's growing, and that whole team's young, so that team can build strong. Okay. Under leadership of Zion and the, and being Lonzo being a great assister, he can definitely flip that shit on over, you dig? Um, last but not least, uh, I'm going to go into, what is it? Is it boxing? Oh, first off, I'm going to get into Conor McGregor. All the Irish pubs that have been having this shit been pointed out saying his shit is trash. So uh, they really ain't fucking with Conor McGregor's Irish whiskey. <laughs> fucking over that man. They said that man shit trash. That's fucked up. <laughs> and they also, there's a girl who wants to run track for the Olympics. We talked about Simone Biles, I believe, in the last one, didn't we? I don't remember. Uh, but she just broke all the records. Yeah, she's she's the definitely qualified yeah. for the, uh, for the Olympics. She's broken all the records and that crazy ass flip that she hit that's never been hit by a black woman before. She had two of them. She had two, just, two uh, first never been hit before. Just, that well, the one I saw was crazy as hell. Yeah, I was like, the nah, muscles yeah. in her body. You are a superhero. Bruh, bro. what? That's it's, a superhero. And you know she's super short. She gets yeah, in the she air like. teeny tiny. Yeah. She flies, dog. Yeah, yeah. She's a master. When she's done with this gymnastic shit and rubbers in America and shit, I think she's going to be stunning and doing movies and shit, flipping over like Spider Woman or something. She ain't about to do that. Fuck no. She ain't retire with all, all, all her do. Yeah. They can just be cool. She might open up a gym. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If she hasn't done it all 
All right, she probably go coach. That's what most of them do. And then like when you Olympic gold medalist, right. like like yo, yo flipping in movies is like, like, like you kind of you, above. Like, you yeah. kind of above. You are beyond gold medalist. You are yeah. the most decorated medalist. Period. Like why are you about to be flipping in no movies though? <laughs> you ain't about to do that. Do, 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 do. I, I, I guess. When you're rich, you just do shit. She might do like a cameo, cameo, gown appearance, yeah. like in a TV show or some shit. Probably some shit for Disney. I don't see her yeah, flipping. She's gonna be too old for Disney by the time she's done. You're never too old for Disney. True that. You never you know, know what it could it. be, right? They took TC, the pimp from the Wayne's Brothers, and put that nigga on a boat with two white kids. <laughs> <laughs> Turn out to be a butler now. Man, uh, you shout out to that dude. Uh, what's his name? I got him up here. Brandon Copeland. Uh, he's this cat that is apparently saving 90% of his uh, savings that he gets from the uh, league. Smart and now guy. he's teaching a class. Yeah, I saw that. Smart he guy. teaches a class on money. And I'm like, damn, dog, not all of you saving your money, not all of you flipping it right, giving back in that manner is such yeah. class that money class at pen at all places. That's amazing. Yeah. You're doing uh, it right. You're definitely doing it right. Yeah, the man. drama surrounding Carmelo and LeBron. Not there's they, drama? There's not not drama between them, but there was, a lot of people come at LeBron like, why you can't get Melo on? Yeah, there's always people that want to get Melo on. And uh, Perkins, Kendrick Perkins had to step in and say, man, y'all tripping. Y'all know what the hell LeBron be trying to do behind doors. I seen the Cavaliers GM told Brian no many times when he tried to get him on on the Cavaliers. You know what I'm saying? That man's always trying, but these gym BMs do be telling Brian no to his face. No. Oh, so people are blaming LeBron for Carmelo not getting a job? Yeah, and then Kendrick the Perkins also brought that up too. He's like, LeBron's not responsible for getting another man's job. Come on. Yeah, like. He's not an owner. You know what I mean? What do you expect? He can have cachet to a degree, but he's still a player on the team. Right. Come on. No, that's your Y'all be expecting some crazy shit. But uh, the last thing I was going to talk about was how I met this dude Marcellus Wiley called out. Oh, that out. bitch ass nigga. Yeah, he was on on the the other bitch Colin, ass nigga, Colin nigga show. Nick not black enough. Bitch he ain't bitch. black enough for movement. And like, I don't get these niggas who come at people black checking them up. Be like, oh, cause you mixed or cause your girl ain't fully black. Blah blah blah. Dude, mm. that's the niggas they throwing the money to. Like, go talk for us. So, and, he, and half the shit he was on ain't got nothing to, like you could tell he don't know that look he was talking about how Kaepernick wasn't leading nobody nowhere so Jay-Z gotta lead people I'm like son Kaepernick ain't never stopped working dog like I said this man called my freaking summer camp straight up just to tell him talk to my kids at the summer camp and show them how to know their rights and stuff he had to do that shit this man still like this man is still actively working in the community you hear me he ain't never even say follow me he ain't never say I'm about to stand up he said people know your rights know the game yeah. you hear me but y'all y'all put all that other shit on this man Dog, and I'm saying you, you selling this man that he can't understand what black people go through because he ain't fully black or because he was raised by white parents in some random spot. Guess what, son? If you're the only black kid in Nebraska, you think you don't know racism, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Right. And who are you to say when somebody can have their awakening? Some people be 30 years old and they realize, damn, this is what the life is. Like, this is what the game is. Bro, you never, you never get on a nigga for trying to turn the leaf and help them go into the positive direction. Cap doing positive shit, so you a whole hate ass motherfucker if you hating on any piece of that. Yeah. Marcellus Especially on that Wiley. light skin and shit. Get out the 80s, nigga. Son, he went off, dog. You know what I was going to... Elder Barge looking ass nigga can't lead no movement. And I was going to play this shit, but fuck him, dog. We ain't got to play this shit. We're going to find out what Marcellus Wiley was saying. That's on you, but I'm just, I'm just laying it out there, dog. Anybody that's trying to be down for the cause to elevate and help black people get to the prominence that we need to get to, I don't care if they black, white, mixed, what have you, alien, what have you, if you really honestly and earnestly trying to fight for us, you part of the goddamn team, son. Why in the fuck would you have a problem with it? That's some cool shit. You want to talk about some shit? Cool, motherfucker. That's a, that's a cool, right? And that was episode 86, side A. That was, I went side B on that ass. But side A. <laughs> you heard me? Side black. Black. Back, back, back. <laughs> I'm black, y'all. I'm black, y'all. I'm, I'm black and it black. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black and it black and it black. Black and it black and it black. Black and it black and it black. But out of pain, you don't get enough respect. He does not yeah, get, enough get enough respect and enough credit in the game, son. No, Ellen yeah. Payne, you a fucking monster. There's a lot of them. Lorenz Tate types that should get way more prominence and credit. Yeah. Period. Yeah. A lot more than Ellen. Michael Ely. There's some cats that bled underwear. We spoke on that before. There's mm-hmm. some cats that nigga that are great every time that they do their thing. I love that. And, and they don't get their proper respect. Blando was one of the smoothest niggas I know. Son. Yeah. But he don't get brought up when you talk about, you know. But anyway, man, it's that actor guy, of course, because you know what I'm talking about. This actor shit, how passionate nigga get. 
Martin Bats Bradford, man. Like I said earlier, Facebook, the name, Martin Bats Bradford. All everywhere else, everywhere else, at Mr. Bats. Spell that Mr. Outer. You ain't gonna find it right, Mr. Bats. And for 86 side, hey, man, we getting about you, man. You dig? And of course, it's me, your boy, D Mac. And you can catch me on Instagram at your dig brand LLC and on my website at your dig brand.com. Make sure you go check it out. And uh, I have fun, but I'll see you on the other side. Passe wise, your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the root. And if you're out I in the streets and you're looking for me, me, you can find me on IG Alpha Joe, no E504, Psi A86. That's what we're about to do right now. Peace. It is like the army. Most real niggas know most niggas phony. Your shadow got your back, huh? Just like your homie. That's why shady niggas will harm thee. This act Caesar. Brutus got him and caught him before his last breather. If that don't make you believe us, then you'll learn. Honesty is a quality that will burn, but it's cool. And trust is a quality you will earn. You a fool if you take you learn all of the rules. Imitate and imitation and they calling it cool. I know a little bit, but go ahead. And call me a fool While you sprinkle sugar on shit And you calling it food See, I'm just trying to groove And you standing on the wall With your hands on your balls Making crab claws move Trying to bonk at a dog But I don't bonk I just fall back Till you think you winning But you lost in the beginning Ay. One goal, one thing One move and that shit don't change the sir, real niggas do real fucking things Real niggas do there's only one cool, one thing, one room, and that shit don't change. And a certain real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do real fucking things. T.I. CZ.